hello friends welcome back to learning points so we are discussing about the full stack application using laravel and angular right so we are using the jw authentication for login and sign up so in our previous video i already discussed about how to install laravel how to install angular so we have created a folder and inside this folder we have created this backend and front end the backend is the laravel and the front end is the angular and also we are installed the jwt and we have created the bootstrap and created the, some components like navigation login sign up profile and these links are working now now the thing is and in this video i am going to configure the jwt so last day we installed the jwt but we have not configured these things so simply search again and just go this link this is the laravel jwt authentication process so we used this link to install the jwt so let's configure these things so here you can see the provider and just copy these things and we need to go to the config app so as we are using inside the laravel so we need to go into the backend and inside their config app.php and here you will find the provider array so here this is the provider array simply just use this link so jwt auth provider is added and now the thing is we need to publish the configuration so simply just copy this sorry the copy these things and just go here and make sure you are using the backend so you need to publish this from the backend so let's paste this and and it's copied file jwt auth config to config jwt.php so publishing is complete so if you just go here and we can see the jwt.php is created and here you can see the path also so if you just go here and you can see the jwt related configuration and this is the tame on jwt providers and this is the auth and this is the storage okay so this is all about jwt.php now just go again into the documentation section so now we need to generate the secret key so for now if i just go into the environment section you can see you don't have a secret key so let's create the secret key using php artisan jwt secret command so let's use this and you can see the jwt or secret and it's this is the token this is the secret key and it said successfully so why it set it so if i just go inside this visual studio code and here we can see inside the environment we are getting this secret key this is actually the same which are getting inside this terminal right so now just go again and let's use the quick start right so we need to update our mod and follow this documentation this is super documentation and it's defined all the things so here if you just go inside the model that is the user model so just go here and use the model so inside the app there is a model that is the user model that is the default model for when we just install the laravel application these are created we don't need to create this manually so here we're going to use the jwt subject so just use these things and we need to use this jwt subject so write your implements and write jwt subject from here so just like this and for jwt authentication we need to use this get jwt identifier and get jwt claims okay simply just copy these two methods and just paste this inside your user model so simply i'm just pasting here basically this is returning the key and we can configure the get job jwt custom claims here right so we will see further right so this model configure is done the last things we need to do the authentication configuration so by default if you just go so inside the config auth.php we can see the default is web but 
here I need to use the default as API so let's use this API so as we are using the guard as API so we need to create a new guard here so already web guard is created so we need to use the API guard right and just copy this and paste here and here you can see inside the API we are using the driver JWT and the provider is users right so you can see the provider that is users and it's using the user model okay so all are ready so here we are telling the API guard to use the JWT driver and we are setting the API guard as the default now add some basic authentication routes so simply if I just want to use any API related things actually we are using the full stack application there's a reason we will provide some API to the front end and front end will call the API to the back end right so this is the sample API so just go inside these routes and inside the routes will get the api.php will use this api.php here and just paste this but the version of our laravel is 8 so here this is the old documentation so we need to change some routing things so actually we can see this is the group middleware is api and they are using the prefix as auth right so i don't need to use the auth actually so we can use the api so we don't need the prefix this right so to use the login we need to create the auth controller so just copy this and let's create a controller first so just create so how to create php artisan make colon controller and my controller name is authentication controller that is the auth controller so controller created successfully so if we just go here inside the http inside the controller we are getting the auth controller so simply use the namespace of this controller app http controller and just use this use app http controllers and the controller name is auth controller right so just use this and here we will create the post and here just use the auth controller in this way auth controller colon colon plus and the function name that is login right so in the same way we will do all the things so currently i am blocking these things and simply just go again the documentation section and this is the auth controller structure okay so just copy whole things and paste this so this is the constructor then the login function this is the me is for profiling and logout and refresh token and the final one is respond with token so just copy whole things and just go into the auth controller and let's paste this so all things are ready right so next day we are going to discuss about these things and we'll complete the login process using the JWT authentication from the Laravel okay so please comment if you have any queries about this video and don't forget to like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video and the full series are provided inside the description section you can find from the description so you can check the full playlist so you'll get the better understanding so thanks for watching this video and have a good day